This is the Gig Lab. The doctor is in. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ and you're in the Gig Lab. And I am here at Actors Community Theater of Davie where I have directed the play called Marvin's Room. And tonight is opening night and Chauvet DJ fixtures have been instrumental in this production. Check it out. Okay, so we're doing a test today to see how these Intimidator Spot 350s actually shine beams and their gobos on what is going to be a complete scrim here. So we wanted to find a couple things out. First of all, we wanted to use those Intimidator Spot 350s because of their ability to change the gobos automatically and also the ability to, to change custom gobos, to make custom gobos and put them in that fixture. So this shape here is just a test. It's not one that we would actually be using in the show. And this scrim wouldn't, we wouldn't be using in the show. This goal post kit here will have scrim all the way across it. And we'll be seeing the, we'll have two of the Spot Intimidator 350s shining on both of these scrims. So right now the test is going pretty good. The gobo doesn't seem to be skewed that much. We can see it pretty clearly. And more importantly, when actors are walking in front of this scrim, we're not casting shadows at a reasonable distance. So, so far so good with these incredible Intimidator Spot LED 350s, which are going to help us in this production of Marvin's Room. So the centerpiece of this set with the Chauvet fixtures are these two goalpost kits with the scrims attached. And as you can see, we've got them lit and we're going to take a look at what's lighting them from behind. So we've got a mixture of things happening back here. The main fixtures here that are coloring these scrims are color band picks. And these are, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And then I've also got, just accenting these, two color strips as well. So these things will change colors depending on what scene we're in and what Gobo is projecting on the screen. Really gives us a lot of variety to change the locales from scene to scene. One of the reasons that I wanted to use the custom gobos that go in the Intimidator Spot LED 350s was because I tend to be more of a minimalist when it comes to set design for theater pieces, especially community theater. At this level, set changes can be clunky, they can be long, they can be loud, they don't work as smoothly as you want. So I tend to like to suggest locations uh, instead of having literal walls and doors and and rooms I like to suggest where these locations are happening and with light you can do that and the custom gobos we used for Marvin's room really helped us now here you can see where the 350s really 350s really come in handy because of the prism effect that's available in these fixtures I have taken those custom gobos in this scene when the character faints the scrims turn red and we go into this sort of crazy prism effect. Pretty cool. I'm even using my favorite fixture of all time, the four bar. A classic, just sitting here on a stand. And the reason that's there is we need to light up this center aisle because there is traffic that happens down the center aisle. And we had nothing mounted in this drop ceiling to light that. So the perfect solution was throw a four, four bar up on a stand. And now we have this whole aisle lit along with the other queue. So that's it, what an incredible experience Marvin's room has been. The show had turned into a hit 
And what was even more of a hit, technologically speaking, for the show were the incredible fixtures that did their job the whole way through. Chauvet DJ fixtures have been a hero on this production of Marvin's Room. So hopefully this gets your wheels turning a little bit too in different ways that you can apply these fixtures other than just in a DJ situation. Here we are in a theatrical situation and it's worked like magic. So thanks for watching and we'll see you right here next time in the Gig Lab.